Another basic task in time series manipulation is to save your data. We'll cover two options for saving time series data in R. First, the most efficient and reliable way to store your XDS objects is to save them as RDS files using the save RDS command. When you load time series data back into R from an RDS file using read RDS, the data will keep all of its characteristics, including the time index of the XDS object. For this reason, this is the preferred method for saving XDS objects when working in R. But what if you need to share your time series data with a colleague who doesn't work in R? In this scenario, you shouldn't save your data to an RDS file because your colleague may not be able to read the file. Instead, you can export your XDS object to an easily readable file type, such as a comma-separated value or CSV file. To do this, you should use the write.su command, which allows you to specify the format of your export file. However, with compatibility comes a loss of information. When you reopen the CSV file using read.su, you'll find that your data is encoded as a zoo object rather than an XD object. Before proceeding with your analysis, you'll need to reconvert the object to XDS. OK, let's practice.